Howdy folks, got another P24 instructional video. Today we're going to program and hook the uh, flow sensor, the flow meter up for a proportional feed system. When you get the pump and you plug the pump into a power outlet, this is a 110 pump going into a 110 cord. Uh, the, the display reads the letter P. That's saying I got power applied uh, and you don't know what mode the pump is programmed into until you go into the programming parameters. So we're going to do that. And I will first say that you long, you press and hold the button to go into the programming parameters. And once you do, it goes back to the P fairly quickly if you don't press one of the buttons. So while I'm talking, you'll see it'll go back to the P several times and then I'll have to come back in and get back into the programming. The programming parameters, there are five. They are labeled zero through four. So zero, one, two, three, four is five different parameters. Uh, zero is for when you're in manual mode, it is telling you what percentage the pump is speed is on. So right now it's on 100%. Number one has to be set at 180. That's part of what is making it a 24 gallon a day pump. If you set it lower than 180, then it will be less than a 24 gallon a day pump. Then when we're gonna get back in, we go to number two. Number two has the option of zero, one, two, and three, and that's it, okay? Zero is manual mode. I'm going to leave it there for now, but I'm going to explain. Number one is pulse multiplier. Number two is pulse divider. And number three is for a function that is very rarely used of, of, of for our applications of the pump. But uh, most of the time, you will have the pump set either on zero for manual or one for pulse multiplier. And I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute. So now I've got it on uh, manual setting. And... When I go to number three, three applies to how many times the pump is going to trigger when it's not on manual, but when it's on pulse multiplier, which is what you'll be running your ProPore system on. So for right now, I'm going to leave that on three, and we'll get back to that in a second. Number four, the last programming parameter, only has two states, zero and one, and it must be on zero. If your pump isn't pumping, go to number four and make sure it's on zero. If it's on one, it means it's waiting for an external control input, which of course we don't have. So four has to be on zero. So now we go back, press and hold if you want to get back to the P or let it just time out. Now I'm on P and I know that I'm in manual mode and I have it set at 100. And so I know that when I turn on the pump, it's going to say 100 and you're, you can hear how fast it is pumping. So, and then if I want to adjust this while this is pumping, I can turn the green arrow down and start lowering how fast it pumps. And look, if I leave it, on 73, and then I go into the programming. Zero's now on 73. If I put it back on 100, then when I go back out into manual mode, then it'll be on 100. However, we only use the manual for when we're the manual mode for when we're priming the pump. What you're going to do is you're going to connect the pump for the proportional feed system to your water meter. You've got your cable that hooks into the precision digital unit and it has four wires out of it and you're going to discard the uh let's see you're going to discard the black and the, the white and the red you're going to discard the white and the red and you're going to strip the black and yellow which is what i've done over here on my meter and then the cable coming from the pump from the from the flow meter is has three wires you're going to discard the blue wire and you're going to have the red and white red and yellow go together black and white go together so it's red and yellow black and white red and yellow from the p24 and red and white from the meter and the red goes to the yellow the black goes to the white and that's also in the uh, startup guide so i've got the pump uh, set up the 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 flow meter is now set up I'm still in manual mode so I'm gonna now I'm gonna go to pulse multiplier multiplier means that whatever value I have when I'm in manual and now now I'm in pulse multiplier whatever I have in in for number three however many that's how many times the pump is gonna go kathunk so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, pretend I've got water going through this I'm gonna blow through it it's saying P 
when I blow through it through the meter long enough to trigger the meter to, to to trigger the thing to send the pulse over to the pump, you'll see the lead number three up, uh, up here, and you'll hear the pump pump three times, and it goes two one zero, three two one. Every time it's getting a gallon. Every time it reads a gallon, it's going to pump three times. And then obviously, if I change that, go back in, and I put it at one time, then while it's at one, now every time it's going to trigger one time. So that's how many squirts of chlorine it's going to get for every gallon of water that goes through the meter and that's how you're going to apply the number of squirts to figure out how to get the right residual at the other end of the system. Okay folks, thanks!